is up, Des Life family? Welcome to the vlog, guys. Man, I am loving doing the daily vlogs. It has been a while since I've done this consistently. I uploaded a video last night. I talked about pretty much how I became a developer in three months part two. And in that video, I go more into detail and exactly what it is that I did and what you can do better to try to achieve your dream of becoming a programmer and really just making a difference in your life in a matter of months as well. So if you haven't yet, make sure to check it out. So I'm in a lunch break and I'm gonna change. I gotta change my clothes. I'm gonna wear my pants and I have this thing here because I don't want you to see the mess of clothes I have here. I check it out ah it's bad <laughs> what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm going to change into my workout clothes go to the gym lift weights for about 30 minutes and then go to Chipotle which is right next to the gym pick up food go back to my office and eat man but life is good I'm so happy I have been able to upload videos and vlogs consistently for you guys the last couple days and I can't wait to do this more often I promise to vlog Monday to Friday five days a week not the weekends though ah oh, let's do this let's get on the road it's raining should I do B-roll? Of course I will, man. But let's go. What I told you, no one knows about, and you keep it that way. How I know you, I could cry or shout. You will listen either way. And I told All right, guys. So I just got out of the gym. Whew. Worked on my chest pretty good. Check it out. You can actually see my heart monitor. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But when I'm pushing on my shirt, you might be able to see it there. Whatever. Went to the gym. Time to get some Chipotle behind me. So I'll see you guys in a second. You've seen me crash and burn. Alright guys, so I am driving back to the office right now and so I figured I'd talk to you guys while driving because whoa that person's crazy man she almost hit me I don't know if you can see it because it was really bright anyway um so I just left the gym I got my chipotle right now for lunch and I can't wait to eat it I'm on the way back to the office so I'll eat it when I get back there but what you have to understand is that when I started learning code right it was all about JavaScript you know HTML CSS and jQuery and there are a lot of people who were listing jQuery under like a framework that you need to know to get hired at this company but nowadays, when I look online, no one's really hiring for jQuery as much as they used to. Now, we use a lot, a lot of jQuery, but not a lot of companies are really hiring for that anymore. It's kind of crazy. And then I started going to Angular, right? And, and as I was studying Angular, you know, Angular's the way to go, Java's the way to go. Well, I'm not learning Java right now, but Angular, because we're actually implementing, implementing that in my company. And I talked about how you want to learn Angular, you want to learn Angular, make sure you learn Angular if you want to get a job today. Now, Angular is still very popular. It's still very much in demand. But after my talk with Ryan Carson, who was a founder of Treehouse when I went to Portland, after you know just seeing even online or internet and what is hiring nowadays, there is a new framework that is killing it right now. And I have to admit, it terrifies me because man, after being in the industry for one year and eight months now, like I see the industry growing. I see the industry changing. I see all the new coding YouTube channels that are up and coming, popping up right now. And just like seeing these changes and just like seeing like, how all these frameworks are popping up and how coding's becoming like so much more popular now than it used to, which I'm thankful for because that's what I, I that's what I, you know, that's my goal. That's my goal of this channel. And you know, seeing so many people who've been following me now, even starting their own channels and seeing so many people get jobs, man, this industry is extremely fast paced. And I knew it was fast paced, but you don't really realize it or notice it until you actually like, working it you know it's crazy and now what I'm seeing what is really up and coming is like react man react is really the place the the framework you want to learn now because my company is working with angular I'm not going to learn react because because it doesn't make sense for me to learn react right now and right now in Orange County angular is still very popular right there's a lot of jobs and if you want to get paid well you want to learn react I mean angular but 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 what is killing it right now is React, and it looks like React will be here for a very long time. And so, man, I mean, 
I, I'll consider learning it later in the future, but for those who are starting or for those who can, if you haven't gone too much deep into Angular, now if you want to learn Angular, still go for it and there's still jobs, there are still jobs for it, but man, now like React is where you want to learn, it's where you want to go. There are many jobs there. You don't even need that many years of experience because that's what's needed nowadays to get a job today, to get paid well. And I, that's what I would go for. That's what I would recommend for you to learn nowadays if you are still wondering what framework to learn after you learn JavaScript. I would go for React. Um, it's amazing. Everyone's using it. It's used everywhere, not just on mobile apps, not just on, you know, they even use on just like very simple things on. Um, it's kind of crazy, even on even at my work, we work with a lot of tech companies and I'm seeing them used in microwaves. I'm seeing, you know, for a smart microwave, for like smart devices and it's insane, man. So JavaScript, JavaScript, JavaScript is where you want to go to make sure you get in the industry today. And that's what I'm saying. I want to tell you guys that. So hopefully that makes some sense. Hopefully that pushes you to learn more JavaScript and get more comfortable. JavaScript is really hard to learn for a reason because it's a very difficult programming language to learn, right? But when you pass that barrier, when you push yourself, that pass that limit, when you could finally grasp functions, you know, uh, global scope, uh, you know, scopes, um, everything in regards to just, you know, variables, those things that seem difficult at first, when you get past that and you go into it and you go push through it, man, guys, your world, of opportunities will open. So my arms are exhausted, I'm driving, and I'm gonna go back to the office real quick. But man, it's insane. I might talk to you guys more about this when I get back from the office, but let me go to my office first, eat, do what I need to do, get my job done, and I'll talk to you guys when I get out. All right, peace.